Hey, what's up guys, Benny here, and welcome to another deep dive look at the Xbox Series X. Now, having a brand new next generation console is great and everything, but there's not much you can do on it without the right controller. So in this video, we're gonna see what's new, what's been improved on, and how it's going to make your Xbox experience even better. <laughs> We're looking at the most feature-packed Xbox controller ever, and it's the little changes here and there that add up to the biggest difference. But what can you actually expect once you've gotten your hands on it for the first time? Well, for one thing, the controller will feel instantly familiar. That's because the designers knew that fans were already in love with the existing Xbox One controller. So they wanted everyone to feel right at home. You'll be ready to frag out in an instant as the iconic offset analog stick layout and trusty ABXY face buttons make their return. No need to fumble around learning a new control scheme for your favorite games, nor familiarize yourself with a differing button layout for some of the those upcoming next-gen titles. Just more time spent just playing the games that you love. And not just that, but more people will feel right at home with the Series X controller. The team took steps to reduce the silhouette of the controller by a fraction, and by doing so have made it far more accessible to gamers with a slightly smaller hand size. This is all without compromising the comfort and feel of folks with mitts on the larger side of the scale. So there'll be millions more gamers included in the fun thanks to a very simple design change. Let's chat about some new additions then. The features that have changed with the new design were improved to ensure the controller was far more accessible, compatible and always delivering the absolute best gaming experience. Fans of certain special edition Xbox One wireless controllers will have probably noticed some key new bumps have been added to the shoulder buttons and triggers. These tactile little touches increase your grip and coupled with a slightly rounded off finish mean they'll be more comfortable than ever. In fact, that same level of detail has been applied to the grips too. Ergonomic curves coupled with micro dot patterns mean that your hands will feel 100% secure no matter how deep into a gaming sess you are. Perhaps one of the most striking changes to the Series X controller is that brand new D-pad. If you've used the Elite Series 2 controller, you might notice this is a bit of a hybrid, halfway between the classic cross shape and the faceted dish that comes packaged with the Series 2. It's the best of both worlds. The cardinal directions of up, down, left and right are still just as easy to accurately hit, but the radical design allows for those more specific diagonal presses to become second nature. This is brilliant for fans of beat-em-ups or anything that requires an extra sprinkle of dexterity to perfectly execute. And your thumb will be thanking you too, as the dish has been given a deeper, concave design so it really sits comfortably right in the middle of that dish. So, more features for more gamers worldwide, and a new controller will be compatible with more devices too. The accessories team at Xbox realized that at the core of every gamer's experience is their controller. Brian Whitaker, senior designer at Xbox, put it best when he said, gamers want to play games on all of their devices. That includes the ability to play classic games and the latest AAA titles on a phone through xCloud. The new controller needs to work equally well on Xbox One and pairing and moving between all these devices needs to be easy. That's all well and good, but how do you actually make that happen? Well, his team have found a solution that makes this controller the smartest and most dynamic bit of kit you'll ever own. Not only will the new gamepad work with your Xbox One thanks to Xbox Wireless Radio, but it is also confirmed to work with all manner of iOS, Android, and PC devices. And that's only the tip of the iceberg. Here's a scenario we're probably all familiar with. You've been playing your favorite games on your commute home thanks to Project X Cloud, and now you're ready to continue the fun on your couch with your console and TV. Sadly, you're going to have to wait while you pair up your controller with your Xbox One. The blinking lights are mocking you. Isn't there a simpler way? Well, soon there will be. The Xbox Series X wireless controller can actually remember multiple devices. 
without having to pair your phone, console, or PC all over again. But let's say you prefer to be hardwired in, or perhaps you're one of those clever clogs who picks up a play and charge kit so that you're free to play without a charging cable. Well, say hello to USB-C connectivity. Seeing as how this has quickly become the more widely adopted method of connecting and charging devices, it made perfect sense to include USB-C as an upgrade to the Xbox controller too. And no doubt some of you out there have found your perfect headset, or you have a bunch of other peripherals that you'd like to bring with you for the ride into the next generation of gaming. Not to worry, as the new Xbox controller has been designed with you in mind. Every kind of headset that's compatible with your existing Xbox One controllers will also work with your brand new Series X controller. Even accessories like the chat pad still fit, as the bottom half of the controller features a compatible shape to accommodate them. It's such great news to hear that this controller will be servicing your gaming needs no matter the hardware. But on Xbox Series X, you'll really feel the difference thanks to improvements made by the implementation of dynamic latency input. These are a brand new set of system improvements that we think you'll really appreciate. On the surface, it might seem like quite a minute improvement, but in the world of latency, that makes all the difference. DLI will tailor the experience to the hardware you're using, meaning it is tuned to the absolute best possible configuration, no matter the spec of the TV you're using. By sharing information via HDMI connection, your screen and your Xbox Series X will communicate in perfect sync to ensure your button presses reach the game as quickly as possible. As an added bonus, the new Xbox controller even transmits that information at a much quicker rate than the previous gen pads did. So your lightning fast reactions are going to be rewarded even more. Even reducing that latency by a fraction of a second is a huge step up, especially in competitive scenarios, along with the introduction of high refresh rate monitors and TV sets, Frames win games after all, and you're gonna need the improvements made thanks to DLI to really capitalize on that improved refresh rate. And we're willing to bet that that competitive edge you'll get thanks to DLI will translate into some immense gaming moments. Probably so good that you'll want to brag about it on all your social media channels, right? When sharing was introduced to the Xbox One, it was only the beginning of what would be a continued focus on what makes gaming on Xbox so great, the community. At the heart of your experience is the new controller, and at the very center of that, quite literally, is the all new share button, with an objective to making sharing your clips and screenshots as smooth as possible. The share button removes the need to cycle through menus in order to clip your proudest gaming moments. And with support for all of the major social channels, you can upload in a flash too. Communities are built upon close-knit moments that can be shared, and this new button will facilitate that with ease. So there we have it, our in-depth look at the new controller that will be with us in holiday 2020. Hopefully next time we make a video on the subject, we'll actually have our hands on it. Thanks for watching and for more videos like this, why not check out some of our other deep dive videos on the channel? Just hit that subscribe button and check them out. We'll see you next time.